hey, don't go chasing waterfalls. And you old people know what I'm talking about. Everybody else, here's what I'm talking about. Cascading surge protection. A lot of questions you guys have had like, hey, if I have a whole house surge protector, do I have to, should I install surge protectors at other locations on the property? And the short answer is, yeah, you should. But let's talk about waterfalls and cascading. See you soon. So waterfalls, cascading, depending on what material you're reading about surge protection and layering, usually it's cascading. Uh, unfortunately, we also remember gigantic countrywide uh, power failures as cascading power failure. Um, bad memories, blackouts in the 70s. You know, it doesn't matter. So with surge protection, so many of you have said, hey, I've got this. I'm going to put in a whole house surge protector. Should I put you know, surge protectors at my pool equipment, at my furnace, at my AC units. And so let, let's talk about that. So first of all, if you live in an area with high impact for lightning or surges, let's say Florida, pretty much anywhere in Florida, then yes, do it. You guys take a beating in Florida on your power with surges, lightning, it's a thing. So as you layer it, and this is real down and dirty, there's some white papers that explain it and do math, which I don't do math, so you can do that if you want, is your large whole house surge protectors. A lot of times we have the really high ratings, 105, 110, 150,000 surge amps. Uh, the VPR is low. Those are great, but some of the smaller surges can still theoretically get by those, okay? They're just, they're, gonna, they're not going to catch everything that's smaller. They'll catch the big freaking front door assault surges, right? Some of the small ones can still get through. So as you sort of filter down with layers and go to the stuff that's in the house, you can get a lot of type one surge protectors and they kind of all look the same. They're a small box with a threaded nipple, three or four wires, those work. And they're not rated as high but they may be a little faster in the response. The VPR may be lower. And so those you would install if you do the layering or cascading at your furnace, at your pool equipment control panel, at your AC disconnects. All of those things, especially the, with the pool equipment and the air conditioners, those are all outside. They get hit, okay? And they're also a point of entry into your house. So in all of the other discussions we've had, we have been so focused on the whole house surge protector. Some of that is because we're looking for something that's going to be efficient enough to do everything. And some of that's just being cheap. We don't want to pay for more than we have to. And if we can put in one item that's going to do everything, why not? So my caveat here, my, uh, my qualifier is going to be if you live in an area with normal amounts of lightning, which I'm not sure what that is. I live in North Texas. It's not normal. Uh, if you live in North Texas, you in Florida, do the layering. So here's, here's the way I approach this. If I don't layer and I save myself a couple hundred bucks, two or three hundred bucks, let's say, by not layering, what is the potential cost of replacement and just grief? Okay, if I do manage to have something that goes by my main surge protector or if it enters the house some other way besides through the main lugs and the main breaker which happens, we have no con almost no control over that, okay? So all these responses, I've been telling people in messaging saying, hey, it can't hurt, and I think it's a good idea. Um, I've done it in my house, um, I live in Texas, and because I would be too embarrassed to explain to my wife why we lost our TV, because I wouldn't install another surge protector as a master electrician. Um, that would be an awkward and ongoing discussion. It would not end for a while. There you go. That's a good enough reason. Um, love my wife. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. So um, cascading waterfalls, whatever you want to call it, do the layers. It can't hurt. Um, it's not that much more money because a lot of your primary 
whole house surge protectors or eating your ultras, depending on who you're working with to install them. The cost of materials is, uh, it's been going up again with the FS140, year between two and 300 bucks plus the breaker plus labor. So it's not cheap. But again, compared to the loss of air conditioning boards, furnace, your heater blower circuit boards, uh, all those things, anything with a circuit board is going to get be at risk, like your smoke detectors, your GFIs, um, all your appliances, anything with the circuit boards, how I look at it, your thermostats, uh, anything like that. We had a client who had a, uh, a tree that was right next to his house get hit, current traveled into the house, interesting situation with their cold water bond. That's another video. Um, he lost a bunch from that here in North Texas. And so we did the layering. We put, because one, he, he had no questions about the efficacy of, I don't want to do this ever again. Um, and the second part, it didn't cost them that much extra to plug in those type ones or the, the little squares, uh, surge protectors at the AC disconnects and at the furnace. It wasn't that big a deal. So let's chase some waterfalls. Let's do some layering. Um, I think the discussion is really always focused around the cost. If I pay for this whole house surge protector, why do I need the other ones? And I'm, I'm just throwing it out there. Um, again, it's the big front door, right? It's massive, those big surge protectors, but they're not foolproof and it's not the only way into the house. So some to consider as you guys are doing this, love your feedback, keep the feedback coming. Click like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you next time.